Hey there everybody, today we're gonna do a pretty ridiculous climb. We're gonna go up uh, hopefully to the top of Mount Hopkins where the observatory is. It seemed like a good idea at the time, but it's a little chilly today. <laughs> it is a little chilly. I think I'm glad for the clouds because it will be, there's no direct sun, which would be really hot. But on the other hand, it's like windy and cold. Yeah. <laughs> good and bad things. It's a relatively short ride. I believe it's only 13 miles to the top. The bad thing is uh, we're gonna climb about between, somewhere between four to 5,000 feet and it tops out at about 8,500 feet. Uh, at the very top. There's gonna be some uh, <laughs> panting going on. We're gonna be joined by some friends, but it should be a, a pretty fun day. In terms of logistics, we're parked at the visitor center at the Whipple Observatory where you can park. There's a bathroom. And from here, we're gonna ride all the way up or as far as we can uh, to the top of Mount Hopkins. You ready? <laughs> sure. <laughs> so Arizona, or this part of Arizona, actually has quite a few observatories. So a lot of science going on. There's a cool, science thing over there. Is there science going on in here too? <laughs> yes, there's definitely science. <laughs> Is there our friend Mo? Hi. <laughs> Veronique? Colin? Are you guys still riding with us or what? <laughs> <laughs> so Mo is on her Timberjack, right? Salsa Timberjack. What's this bike? It's a um, Ibis Haka. Okay. Haka Lugi. Cool. It's our friend Colin and you are on a... An old karate monkey. Nice. Yeah. And Mo's got these very fancy rainbow colored spokes and wheels. I know. Nice. Carbon. <laughs> <laughs> is that javelina or is that? It's no. like a little pooch, a, a little, little Karen Terrier with a bow from Aww. Fred Cat. Right, so I think we're uh, ready to go. Uh, should be interesting. So one cool thing about this climb is right after the visitor center, the paved road turns into a gravel dirt road. I believe it's unpaved most of the way up. We thought we were being so smart leaving early. <laughs> so we get here before it got hot. Yeah. <laughs> This ride, needless to say, it's pretty climby. Seemed like a good idea at the time. <laughs> Maybe it was Colin who suggested it, actually. <laughs> it's a favorite guest ride. <laughs> so Colin, you were saying this is signed in kilometers? Yes, yeah. The roads around here are the only ones in the US signed in kilometers. One of the mentally brutal things about this route is you can see the end. <laughs> the observatory up on Hopkins for most of the ride. <laughs> That's basically they're just the one. just taunting you. All right, so we've gone a mile and a half. We've climbed 550 feet. The grade sits around six to eight with pitches up into 12 to 14. <laughs> There's that. <laughs> Good news is we only have 12 more miles. <laughs> Hopped on one of the many switchbacks. You can see the road that we've ridden down below. What do you think so far? I think it's pretty incredible. I was afraid that it would be too much, but I think I'm getting into a groove now. The uh, views are certainly really worth it. Bad. One of the nice things about climbing in the desert, no trees to block the view. That's right, so we've gone 2.8 miles, but we've uh, climbed 1,010 feet. <laughs> <sighs> How much more to go? Like 4,000 more feet or 3,000? Something <laughs> like that, yeah. I know when we get there. Yeah, <laughs> I always forget because I'm so tired. Right. <laughs> So dropping the watch. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. 
right, so we're about five miles and uh, 2,000 feet of climbing. I think we're over 6K feet in elevation, so kind of starting to feel the elevation a bit. It will be interesting as we climb higher how much that comes into play. Uh, you'll notice that there's no saguaro cactus here. I think they stopped growing at about 4,000 feet. So instead, uh, we got some mesquite and they look like oak trees. And then there's some trees with uh, pine needles. Definitely different landscape than from the bottom. There it is, Woo. mocking us. This is the worst. <laughs> I bet there's a bunch of scientists up there with telescopes looking down and mocking us. <laughs> they have uh, drinking games anytime anybody spots a cyclist. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so this is a gate. All right, so it looks like we've gone as far as we can go. There's a gate here, and uh, apparently closed off the bikes. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't used to be. <laughs> Didn't, used to be able to go all the way up to the top, but... Um, that nice man in the car with the government plates just told us it's officially been closed off. Yeah. Part, part of me is sad, but a part of me is also relieved. <laughs> yeah, almost 3,000 feet of climbing, so we've done pretty good. But I think what we're gonna do is find a little turn off here and have a picnic and enjoy the view. Mostly me. <laughs> <laughs> this is pretty bonkers though, jeez. Right, so here's our picnic spot and you can see the road that we went up and there's the observatory at the very tip top. What's for lunch? <laughs> KB and J tortilla. Oh nice. <laughs> this is a uh, Tucsonian delicacy. Yeah. <laughs> the Son Sonoran, Sonoran PBJ. Yeah. <laughs> so the cool thing with some of the folks that we're riding is that uh, both Colin and uh, Veronique uh, lead youth bikepacking trips with a, a group called El Grupo. Can you tell us, tell us a little bit more about it? Uh, El Grupo Bikepacking is kind of an alternative to our racing program. So we teach the kids how to push themselves in, in ways outside of competition. So where, where have you taken them in the area? Like what kind of trips do they do? We have taken them from the clubhouse. We usually leave from the clubhouse so there's no vehicles involved. And we take them to Colossal Cave is one of our trips. A lot of Arizona trail sections. Um, we've taken them over... Uh, Reddington Pass to Chiva Falls. That's rad. So like how, like what's the age of the kids and like how long, how mileage wise, how long are their trips? Yeah, 12 to 18 is our range just, and um, our trips range from 35 miles, I think on average per day would be about, about right, what we do. Yeah, the biggest trip we've done is the Sky Islands Odyssey East Loop. Um, and that was somewhere around 50 or 60 miles a day uh, for a three day trip. Yeah. With a nine-year-old. <laughs> <laughs> so for the kids, like, what's the, the, the biggest challenge that they face when, when going on a bikepacking trip? They're pushing themselves in a different way, in a long and slow uh, <laughs> way, and just finding, you know, when you're really tired and don't feel like going, but you got to get somewhere. Right. Um, and there's no, there's no bailout, yeah. um, <laughs> what that feels like and the growth that comes with that. So life lessons. <laughs> Anything to add? Like, We've had a lot of tears. Yeah. <laughs> but then a lot of smiles after that. Right? You know, a lot Te of pride. tears of joy. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so I think that wraps up our picnic, and uh, we're just gonna go downhill. Um, kind of a bummer that we didn't make it all the way to the top, but uh, it's still a pretty sweet ride to do if you like to do climbing, and especially if you want to do it with like hardly any cars. This is a pretty awesome one to do. Oh man, this has been amazing. Challenge, but a good, a good challenge that came with really rewarding re views. So if you're interested in doing this ride, I'm gonna put the uh, ride with GPS in the description below. If you wanna see more ride videos, check out this playlist, and as always, keep the self-side down. Yeah. <laughs>
Yeah.